Hey, good to see you again. My name's Graham Simpson, and today it's a video about the Feotech AK2000, your mobile phone, and how to do motion tracking. Right, as you can see now, I've got the Feotech gimbal, my G, uh, G80, and a phone hooked up on the top. Um, you'll see that the screen is facing you and I'll explain that in a, in a moment. Uh, the hardest part of this is balancing. Um, I think the, it's virtually with a phone, uh, that's the Galaxy S8 Plus, uh, a phone that size trying to balance it. It was really, really hard. It's not perfect. Um, it's still top heavy, so I don't, you, you could only really do a static thing. Uh, motors are coping okay. I was doing it yesterday and they got very hot. So something to bear in mind that you'll you'll not be able to run around with this. I think this is a static thing and everything set up that way. So uh, as you can see, the uh, phone is connected to the gimbal. Um, I've gone into the camera mode of the gimbal and now you should see my face. Now if I press that green box that's around my face, it should, <laughs> as I'm trying to move around, you can see hopefully that it is doing a very good job of tracking me. Um, if I duck, come back up, it seems to follow quite well. So you could quite easily just walk back and forth and, and talk quite easily. Now obviously the biggest problem with this one is that I was able to see my face on this side of the screen because I was using my GH4 monitor so I could see where to press. If you're on your own, it's a bit of a lucky dip. <laughs> you may struggle just a little bit to um, work it out because if you flip the phone around so that you see the screen, everything goes wrong. Everything goes wrong. It cannot cope with doing it the other way around. Um, even though there's an option in the menu to flip the panning and flip the tilting, um, as soon as it, you press it, it, it just sends the gimbal off in all different directions. It can't cope. Um, so something for Feotech to bear in mind there that out of the box, as it is, it goes wrong. So you're in a sort of a lucky dip state as if you can sort of pretty much guess where you are, press the screen and hope that it gets your face. <laughs> So that's it, but that's, yeah, it does, it tracks. As you can see, it's it's lost me now, but if I come back in, I'm going to aim about there. No, I've missed. Let's see, where's my face? I'm trying to see my face on that screen. So if I go there, there we go, we're back. So it's a, I have the advantage of being able to see that screen to work out where I am. I did do it earlier without looking at the screen. I kind of positioned the gimbal and worked out where I needed to stand and then thought, right, I am about there. <laughs> I got it, but yeah, you can see that's now tracking me. It's lovely and smooth, uh, no problems at all. You can make it, so this is on motion mode. So this is supposedly quite fast. Uh, but to be fair, I don't think I've noticed much of a difference between all three modes. So maybe there is a change, but it works. Um, I'm happy with that. So DJI released the Ronin SC, and this is one of the features they pimped. Feotech, this is the first I've ever heard that they do this. So, wow, um, it's a cool feature if you're a solo shooter and you like to walk and talk. I certainly do, but I haven't been able to do it, even with the new uh, AK4500 um, with its remote thing. You can't do it automatically, so this could be a cool feature. Uh, I haven't tested the distance away on the front front facing camera. It's not very far at all, but I do have the smallest crack that goes over my cameras, so I don't know whether that works properly. That could be just down to that. So, motion tracking. Bye Feotech. <laughs> All good? I love it. Uh, I shall probably try and have a go at using this one out in the field at some point and, and seeing how it copes in an everyday setting. As always, thank you for watching my video. Sorry if this was a bit rambly. Uh, I was a bit excited to show you this one. Uh, if you've 
this is your first visit here do click that subscribe button there'll be certainly lots more tips and uh, other videos about the Feotech gimbal range and if I uh, find a solution for the front facing camera stay tuned because I'm sure I will I will find a way for you thanks for watching take care